Hey guys. So, <laughs> I'm keeping my sunglasses on for like a few seconds as I explain this. So, I feel pretty awesome right now because I've gotten... Why am I doing this? <laughs> I've gotten compliments from people today saying that I look like Splash, so... Thought I would show you. Um, but I do have something to explain. So, um, sit tight as I, um, talk to you. It's going to just be an explanation video. I'm not ranting or anything. And if you don't want to watch it as I get through the explanation, I completely understand. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit because, um... I don't know, my life has been changing a lot in the past couple of months, and I'm actually a month away from being done with my freshman year of college. This year's gone by extremely fast, and I've had plenty of ups and downs, and you guys have been al along the ride for some of them, and some of them have tried to keep quiet and private, but um, this one I can no longer keep private. I think it's important that when you feel passionately about something, even if you're like me and you don't like asking for help, it's important to go ahead and do it because some things are just a little bit bigger than you are. And I'm not self-centered. I'd like to think that I'm a pretty humble person. I don't know. I mean, I guess you'd have to know me personally, but um, I don't really, I guess I have pride I'm not really good at asking people for things or for help or anything like that, but I wanted to keep where I was going to college a secret. I don't think it's important anymore. So I'm going to explain to you why pink and green has slowly bled into my life and now will forever be a part of who I am. I go to Sweetbriar College in Sweetbriar, Virginia. It is about 25 miles from Lynchburg, which is central Virginia. So I moved from the Bay Area, where it was very populated, very diverse, to an area that is the complete opposite almost. I don't know why I chose the school other than trying to get away from home and get closer to my grandmother who lives in Virginia. And I got here and I didn't think I'd like it. After visiting three times, I decided to just jump all in and hope for the best. It was really hard for me starting off here and I just didn't feel like I really belonged. I mean, look up Sweetbriar College Look in Google Images and you will completely understand what I'm talking about. The colors are pink and green. And I don't mean dark green and dark pink or it's pink and green. I, it's a very southern school. It's been around since 1901 and People thought it was a finishing school for women. It is an all-women's campus, and, I mean, they get dressed up in Lily Pulitzer, which I knew nothing about before I came here, and pearls. And I dress like a shadow. I didn't think that I would fit in, but after finding a friend group, that's pretty much what kept me here my first semester. First semester was really hard being away from home, even though I wanted to do it on my own anyway. But slowly but surely, this school made it into my heart. The week before my spring break, I found out this college will no longer be here. The Tuesday before our break, our interim president announced that Sweetbriar College will be closing its doors permanently in August. I was a little upset, but I think the biggest thing for me 
was seeing how many people were crying and they were hysterical and there were professors who looked like they had lost a child. This place means a lot to people I care about and it's really hard to see them go through this. I have friends who wanted to graduate here and become a legacy, which is when you have a woman in your family who went before you and graduated and you would be the next person. There are girls here whose great-grandmothers went here, grandmothers, that kind of thing. I think it's completely ridiculous that a school of this stature could not sustain its budget, didn't manage money well, and now has to close its doors. I believe that educating women is very important, whether you go to a co-ed school or not. In my opinion, starting off here, I thought that it would be different coming from a military school and going to a, a single-sex college that was pink and green. I have since changed my views. Women's education is important. Women are kind of looked down upon because we're supposed to be held to the standard of looking good instead of being intelligent. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I don't care about my appearance. I, you may think I'm attractive, whatever. I could care less. A, big, a bigger compliment to me is complimenting my intelligence. Me choosing to go to college was about me and going and being successful in whatever I choose to do. Yes, I wear makeup. It's not for you. I wear it for me. And this school has made me a stronger person. I'm not afraid to raise my hand in class. I'm not afraid to speak out because as a woman, I need to learn to be empowered and speak up. And that is what single sex education did for me. In less than a year, I've become a stronger person. I've become more independent and have not worried about what a guy thinks about me. I never thought about it before, but it didn't bother me. Going out in public, it's weird seeing men. <laughs> and like, people may think that that's, you know, bad for women to all stay together and then go out into the world and be a little weirded out by men. That's not what it is at all. I've always been naturally a little awkward, but I now feel I can stand up and voice my opinion, not just on the internet, but in person. And that is a lot for me. I'm wearing my pink and green, and although it's only going to be on this jacket or another button or pin, to me that's a lot. I don't like pink. Never liked it. I mean, as a child I dressed in it all the time, but that's... I, I despised it once I started to dress differently and think for myself. It's not about pink and green. It's not about the pearls. It is about the education. Look past the stereotype of an all-women's education and all-women's college. Look past that and think about the education behind it. If you can do anything, if you can contact SavingSweetBriar.com with support of any kind, please do. If you can donate, please, please do. Save my college. Even if I cannot go here, I want future generations of girls who were insecure and meek like I was at the beginning of the year. I still have things to work on, but the faculty here empowered me, helped me, and if they can do that, they can do that with any other young girl. The staff here took me in. I moved from California. I didn't have someone directly in the area. I've been invited to people's homes for dinner because they didn't want me to feel alone. I've been given cell phone numbers, emails. People here are so caring and you don't feel like a student. You feel like a member of the family. If you can do anything to help, please.
not for me, but for future generations of girls who want to come here. The alumni are fighting, and they've set up this website so that their daughters can come here and go through the same experience that I have. No college is perfect. We have our own issues. But this school is important. This school is prominent. It set a standard once, and it can set a standard again. The faculty will not give up. The alumni will not give up. The students will not give up. The only ones who gave up on us were, were our president and our board of directors. Without our knowledge, they decided to close the school. Without a warning, they decided to close our school after deadlines were due to apply to other colleges in any state. They failed us. We don't want to give up. We don't want to get rid of our school. We don't want to have to sell this property. If you can help in any way, please, please help. It is vital. It is very important. And if all you can do is get online, go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, wherever you can, just to get the word out, please do. Look up the articles about our school. The government is getting involved to investigate this issue. This is not something tiny. This is not just another small, tiny private school that ran out of money. This is something that is very important to me and to all of my fellow vixens. Yes, we are, our mascot is a fox, and we are the Sweetbriar Vixens. If you can help us in any way, we would be eternally grateful. If you can support my friend, Anna Bensel, she's starting a documentary about our college called The Sweet Life. There is a Facebook page, and we're actually on IMDb, and I am um, featured in it if that helps at all. Um, but please, if you can, look it up. Help us. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I love you. Bye.